Welcome, and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 5th of September 2024. The Bible reading today is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection, as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain. Faith, hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. Today's article, titled Grace Now, was written by Anne Sitas. We hurried to a fast food restaurant to have lunch together on my friend Jenny's short work break. Arriving at the door about the same time, six young men got inside just in front of us. Knowing we didn't have much time to spare, we grumbled inwardly. They stood as a group at both registers to be sure each of them could order first. Then I heard Jenny whisper to herself, Show grace now. Wow. Sure, letting us go first would have been nice, but what a great reminder to think of others' needs and desires and not only my own. The Bible teaches that love is patient, kind and unselfish. It's not easily angered. It often prefers others' welfare and satisfaction and advantage to its own, wrote commentator Matthew Henry of this love. God's kind of love thinks of others first. In a world where many of us are easily irritated, we frequently have opportunities to ask God for help and the grace to choose to be patient with others and to be kind. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 11 adds, A person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offence. That's the kind of loving action that brings honour to God, and he might even use it to bring thoughts of his love to others. With God's strength, Let us take every opportunity to show grace now. Let's pray. I'm in need of your help, God. I face many levels of irritation, but want to instead be filled and overflowing with your kind of love. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Lorraine and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.